Okay, so welcome guys. Um, this is, in this tutorial I'll be teaching some motion tracking, like this one. Um, you can see how the explosion kind of sticks to the shape of the cam. See? And, um, that's easier than it looks. Like, you see other people, they'll use something like, like, all this expensive stuff, but it's actually, you don't need all, any of, like, really any of that. All you need is a default tracker from After Effects. So, um, I'm gonna be importing some re some footage here. And I'm gonna show you, um, how to do this. So, first you're gonna get your ground footage. So, you're just gonna put it into a new composition. And then, and then after that, if you haven't done this already, you're gonna go to Window, and you're going to click on Tracker down here so then you should get something like this so once you, you make sure that you that you click on this and then you're going to click track motion then it should give you this thing that says track point and so we're just going to go over and you're going to try to find like a high contrast point in this case i put a small piece of white paper on a black desk which obviously kind of stands out and so once you found your high contrast track point you're just going to click the forward arrow from analyze and I can't actually see it right now but um so as you can see it kind of it, it really does the track point does a really good job of just sticking onto the piece of paper really well so we're just going to have to wait until it's done doing this until it goes all the way through it should be doing fairly, fairly soon here, um, because in my case I was lucky. As if it doesn't stick to the point as well, um, once it's ended, I'll show you. Um, you can actually manually kind of set the pointer to, um, you can manually move it. Let's see, but I'm not gonna mess with that because mine is pretty good. And then you're going to, so once that's done, you're gonna import the footage that you want to put over top of it. In my case, it's an explosion. So as you can see, without it sticking to the thing, it kind of just sits there. But um, so move it to where you want at the very beginning. Once the explosion actually happens, or whatever the heck you're using. And then you're gonna go to click back on your base footage, and then you're gonna go. What did I do wrong? Um, you're gonna go to this, and then after that, you're gonna go edit the target, and you're gonna change it to whatever the over top is. So you're gonna click on this, change the current tracker to tracker one, because most likely that's what you're using, and then you're gonna play it through, make sure everything's all good. That see, it stays. And then once you're done, you're just going to click apply. And then okay. And then, it should kind of stick. But as you can see, the explosion right here is not really where I want it. So I'm just going to go, see if you just move it like that, it won't help. So don't do that. You're going to go and you're just going to select all of these. Like that. And then you're going to, and then you can move it. Like that. And then, as you can see, it sticks to the desk. Now, if you noticed, if you have good eyes, you also notice that I put in this dark smoke one, which is smoke, obviously, which kind of like, like that. And um, instead of having to retract the whole thing, an easier way to do this is to just select all of this again, and then you're just going to copy it by pressing Control C or whatever you like to do. And then you're just going to go to where you want it to start, then just press Control V or paste. Then it should kind of stick. Then again, you can move it just like the explosion, and then smoke. As you can see, smoke rises up. So, yeah, that's basically the tutorial. I also another thing I did was duplicated this by pressing Control D, and then I changed the blending mode to Add. And then I selected a slight area where I thought would be affected. Probably a little bit of, my, of this iPod screen. That one 
like that. And then I went back down here, went to masks, went to mask one, if it's defaulting to do that, and then uh, I adjusted the feather up. And then most of the time you don't have to track that unless you really want to. Um, I don't feel like tracking the mask right now. But it's the same thing with the smoke, you just copy and paste the little thingies, points. So there. So now you have the smoke and the explosion and it's all cool looking. Now all you have to do is add an, a sound effect. In my case, I can just go. We said footage. And you can go explosion, whatever dot mov or whatever. I mean wave. This. Then you just can just render a random preview and then just play it through and now I have a nice noise. So.